Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about DC Fandom and what happened, what they revealed during the panel. There were some spoilers for some upcoming episodes. Also, they reminisced on the past, so that's what we're going to be doing in this video, breaking it all down. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys know, huge fan of Supergirl. And DC Fandom, just two nights ago, was fantastic. I absolutely loved the Supergirl panel, it was very nostalgic, and I thought it was a great way to go out because at least they gave them a panel. Like, if you saw The Flash, all they did was, yeah, they had Candace talking the whole time, they had Grant talking for a bit, but it wasn't a panel interaction, it was more like an interview. And so it was great to see the whole of the Supergirl cast just talking together and interacting. I mean, there were so many of them, and this was obviously during the finale, and they give out some finale spoilers here, which we're going to get into in a minute. So this is like after they finish filming, or maybe they're during filming, and they take some time out to do this panel for DC Fandom. And so it was really nice to have them all sitting together and talking about, you know, their achievements in the past and what they're looking forward to, etc. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into my bullet points that I made about the panel. Okay, so every Supergirl co-star from the past was included there, apart from Callista Flockhart, also John Cryer is not there, but I presume maybe John was already gone by then, and Callista Flockhart obviously played Cat Grant and she hasn't been around for many seasons. She lives in LA and obviously they filmed this up in Vancouver, and the reason why Makar Brooks is there, Jeremy Jordan and Chris Wood are there is because they were filming. And so the panel as a whole is a fun look back at the last six years of Supergirl. They take time during the stream to reminisce on their favorite moments, and we're gonna go over some of those favorite moments. So Melissa's favorite episode of Supergirl is Slaver's Moon, directed by Kevin Smith. That was an episode in season two where they went to the other planet through the portals. I really love that episode. That includes Monel, Wynn, Alex, Supergirl. Also, I think Kevin Smith's daughter is in it at one point, and it's about this sort of like ring of people that are being trafficked over to this other planet. And so you get to meet the Maldorians, I think that's their name. They actually reference them in the panel. And so that's Melissa's favorite episode, and I get why it is. It's a lot of fun. It's a really great episode. It's Kevin Smith's first episode on Supergirl. I'm going to take the time to just say my favorite episode of Supergirl is definitely the pilot episode, or I really like the Mixie episode when he first shows up in season two with Monel. I also like Monel's first episode where he's kind of adjusting to the world and where he eats the pancakes. Those are some of my favourite episodes, also the mid-season finale in season 3 with Rain, and also the 100th episode last year where we saw the return of Monel, Rain, and literally everyone else. But let's move on to the next thing, so Peter Sargent who plays Nixon in the show, she actually spoils something big about an upcoming episode, and I feel like this is a thing in DC fandom, they were spoiling a lot from Stargirl and some of the other shows, they literally didn't put up a spoiler warning, so spoiler alert guys, watch out because Peter Sargent spoiled Lex Luthor's return, and so she talks about how she loved the scene where Mitch meets Lex and Nixley, and he goes, oh, sorry, what's Lex Luthor doing here? And apparently it's a very funny scene. Again, we haven't watched it yet, so it's a big spoiler, but I thought I would bring it up because this does confirm, yes, Lex is going to be working with Nixley, he's going to be coming on the ship, in fact. And this is a no-brainer considering how last episode ended with Nixley's secret admirer giving her a literal Lexo suit. Obviously it's Lex. So he's going to be coming in the next few episodes and I guess that scene that Peter is talking about is probably sometime in like the next two episodes or so. Because I don't know exactly when Lex is going to be showing up, but he's definitely coming. Okay, so talking about mon -El. Chris Wood was there in the panel, he talked about his favourite scene slash stunt, and he said eating the 10 pancakes in season 2 at once was definitely the hardest stunt that he'd done. It's a great scene, it was during the montage where he's kind of getting ready, he's kind of being prepared by Kara to go out into the real world, and at the point where he's given like 10 pancakes, he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna eat it all. Obviously a normal person wouldn't eat it all at once, and so it's great to see him kind of adjusting into the world, and it took a long time for Monel to get, you know, properly adjusted. Obviously, he makes some goofs here and there, but that's part of the fun of the character at first, with him adjusting to being on Earth and to not showing off his superpowers. And so, 
it's great to see Chris included in the panel because he plays one of my favorite characters on the show and that's definitely one of my favorite scenes as well as I mentioned it earlier it's from one of my favorite episodes of Supergirl and so they also showed a new clip of mon in Catco and this is from the finale so again they're including spoilers but it was a behind the scenes shot and it's Chris Wood sliding in in his mon costume in his Valor costume and he's in Catco, so it seems something's going down there. Could it be that Nixley returns and attacks Catco again like she did in the last episode? It's very possible that that could happen because it seems like she's not going to be letting go of William that easy and maybe she goes after Kara when she realizes, oh, Kara is Supergirl and you know, Lex definitely knows who Kara is, so he could definitely le lend her the information of Supergirl's secret identity. And so overall, it's great to get these kind of teasers for the finale and what's to come. Obviously, they don't talk that much about like what specifically is going to happen apart from showing some clips and, you know, teasing some future stuff. But in regards to Supergirl ending, they didn't really touch upon like how Supergirl is going to go out. Is she going to go to the future? Is she going to go to Argo City? Is she just going to retire? They didn't mention that. But yeah, let's move on to the next thing. So Cloth Magic is talked about. This is a great kind of Instagram series that Chris Wood, Melissa Benoist and Jeremy Jordan do and have done over the years. Obviously Supergirl and Hour and Win. And they tease that this is a spin-off that, that never actually happened. I just wanted to bring it up because it is a great kind of mini behind the scenes thing that they keep on doing. And they did this recently during the filming of the finale. That was actually a video that Melissa Benoist released. And it actually spoiled mon returning officially. Because, you know, the behind the scenes photos aren't official until they're released by the CW or by the actors. And Melissa released this this year. So she confirmed, yes, Chris Wood is returning as mon in the series finale and so yeah I love cloth magic but in regards to the spin-off and something potentially coming I've talked about this before I'm really rooting for a dreamer show however I would say my number one option would be a Legion of Superheroes spin-off show with Monel, with Wynn, with everyone else however I don't know how likely that is to happen. Obviously, you would have Brainy and you could have Nia in that as well. But we don't have any actual indications about any spin-offs coming. This is just pure speculation. But it's nice to see them even referencing the idea of a spin-off show and something continuing the Supergirl legacy. And talking of continuing the Supergirl legacy, they did a Superman Lois mini behind the scenes video teasing season two. It was their first day back on set and they did a video and they actually referenced Supergirl and like the way that they set up Superman and Superman and Lois. So it's great to see them properly acknowledging that Superman and Lois came from Supergirl. And so obviously that is a spin-off off of Supergirl. So we do have one Supergirl spin-off, but we're talking post Supergirl ending. Could there be another show that continues the legacy beyond just Superman and Lois, which obviously has become a show all to its own because it's just that good. And so that pretty much wraps up what went on. Obviously, this is the last big Supergirl panel ever. Obviously, the cast members, like the cast members of other past gone shows that have ended, like, I don't know, Supernatural or Smallville, they all come back for cons and they do comic cons. However, there won't be like a designated panel every year. Obviously, the last panel that Supergirl did was at 2019 San Diego Comic Con. Luckily enough, I was actually there, and I was at that panel. I got to interview the cast, I got to interview Melissa in real life, which was amazing. And I'm so happy I took the chance to do that, because that was the last ever in real life big San Diego Comic Con panel for Supergirl. Because last year, obviously, they did a DC Fandom panel, and this year, for their final ever big get together their farewell panel was also at DC Fandom so I look forward to seeing more of the Supergirl cast returning to cons and such also remember guys I'm going to be going to MCM London Comic Con if you guys are around and you live in England or in Europe highly recommend you come along this is in four days but it ends in six days time so it's from the 22nd to the 24th if you guys are there, please be sure to say hi. I'm sure you'll recognize me, so I'll be there. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any videos. 
Also, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.